Hello everyone, this is a beginner's tutorial on drawing in Moho 13. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do stuff in Moho, uh, drawing and animating. Um, I really like Moho um, because uh, I, I feel it's really intuitive. So uh, what you would expect uh, is sort of the way things go with Moho. Um, I've tried Toon Boom before, Harmony, and uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, it's just not uh, what I would use. It's not as intuitive to me. Um, but with, with any, uh, as with any software, um, there's pros and cons to everything you try. Uh, but this tutorial is going to be on drawing. And um, there's a lot of ways you can do things in Moho. Um, up here is all the drawing tools. So uh, if you're a beginner, uh, you can just start playing around with some of these tools. Um, you have the uh, uh, select so whenever you draw, you're going to have points that you need to select. Um, the translate button, when you have points that you need to move, you translate. Um, here's the add point button. This is one of my favorite tools because it is what you can use to trace um, images and, and drawings. Um, next you have the curvature, so you can modify the curvature. Um, and then you have a freehand. Uh, freehand is if you're just going to be drawing just squiggles or, or like you're actually using a pencil. Um, sometimes I use it, not very often. Um, and then the shapes I use a lot. You have all sorts of different shapes up here. Um, I use that a lot. And then um, you have uh, the dilute edge. So you can, before you create your shape, you can take an edge off. Or um, This here is the magnet tool. This is going to be used to move points as well. It can move groups of points like a magnet. Um, this is another uh, freehand tool. It's a, a blob brush. Um, and uh, and you have your eraser. And uh, for your eraser, I think, uh, I think you can just take sections out of your blob. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. But there's all your points. Um, and actually, I'll let, let me just leave this up here so I can show you how some of these tools work. So here's your select. Uh, you can also hit G for grab and grab a section of them. Um, that's how you select your points. Um, this is uh, the translate. So if you want to move the points, you can click this or press T. And then uh, it'll allow you to move the points that you selected. Um, and then if you need to add more points, you can uh, click this tool or press A. And you can add more points. And then you can grab those and move those. Um, then you have your curvature button. Um, usually works best when you grab a single point because then you can uh, just go to each point and modify the curve. Um, I showed you the freehand tool. Um, here's the shapes tool. I really like this because when you're tracing, you need to uh, get a large shape over a certain piece of an artwork um, this is the best way to do it you just click on that and then you can drag to draw your square or drag and do your circle to get it um, um, symmetrical you can hold shift and it draws a perfect circle or square um, let's see delete edge so if you need to get rid of an edge you do that and then it takes the fill away from your shape so you'll have to recreate the shape so if I wanted to create select these uh, these points shift to get the rest of them um, I don't know if it'll allow you to do that okay yes yeah, so you have to you have to connect uh, connect the points so you can add uh, your points to connect it and then then you can create your shape um, you go over here press the create shape button create shape up here and then there you have your shape again um, we did eraser, um, point reduction. So sometimes when you're drawing and you have a bunch of points, so a, a good example is if I use the scatter brush tool, um, it does some cool stuff, but look how many points are in these. If I zoom in, a ton of points. I don't know if the reduction will work here, but, um, oh, what happened there? That was interesting. Um, it'll tr oh yeah, it it did reduce. It did reduce. So oh, it takes the time. It's kind of heavy on the program, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, it'll take out all the points that are not necessary, so you don't have a ton of points. See, look how many points this guy has um, versus the one we reduce points on. It changes the drawing, so it's a little more simple, but it's helpful. Um, anyways, so that's one way to get uh, reduce your points for when you're animating. It can the more points you're moving, the more you're um, loading, uh, straining the program. Um, sometimes your computer can't handle it if there's a, a ton of points. But here's perspective points. I like this because if you're trying to do a different view or a different position of a character, you can uh, use this uh, perspective points, and you can move it. So, like if I want to make a person turn their head, you can do this and then redraw a new position of that head. Um, using that perspective points that's great um, shearing is good uh, if you need to if, if you're animating and need to create like a wave um, that's helpful um, the bend points I don't really use this a whole lot but it bends it bends stuff so that would be kind of cool if you're creating a vortex or something so that's kind of cool um, and then I haven't really used this that much either but uh, the noise um, it distorts things so that's kind of cool I guess if you were animating an earthquake or something that would be kind of cool so those are all the tools in your drawing toolbox here so what I'm going to be doing though is I'm going to be drawing a, a person here and I'm going to start by um, let's let's open up um, a file here or import an image I mean here's a picture of a person um, just something for me to uh, reference as I'm drawing the first thing I'm gonna want to do is make a palette so I can have all the, the colors that I want to be you know to kind of get it as accurate as possible so um, I'll go over here to my layer window, click on the layer, and it gives me all those tools back. I was on the image layer, so it, it gives you different selections over here for the layer that you have selected. Um, so now that I'm going to be drawing or tracing this image, I'm going to go here to that layer, draw shape, and I want to go to grid, and then I will drag with my mouse a grid. Now those aren't the colors I want, but I'm going to make a palette and use this eyedropper tool. Let's uh, do a color for the dark skin on the right side. We can do a color for the light skin on the other side, maybe right around here. Um, we'll do dark hair. And to select each of these shapes in the grid, I'm pressing Q. Um, it's the same thing as the select shape button over here. So select, so that was the dark hair. Let's do the light hair right there. That looks good. And I'm going to use this um, when I fill, fill my shapes and, and complete the drawing. So we did light skin, dark skin. Let's do lips. We could do white lips. Or I mean dark lip and then how about white lip on the other side this just gives us a variety of, of colors we can use and then um, I think that's just about all the colors I will probably use for this um, what does scratchy skin look like yeah we can't really do that I guess we could do yeah yeah, maybe we'll do sort of a beard color. And then, uh, oh, teeth. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's do teeth. What is a, a darker tooth? Here's a wider tooth. Um, and then last, I think I'll just do a dark color for the real dark areas of uh, of the face maybe right here 
for the, you know, pupils, maybe the eyebrows, things like that. Okay, so I have a nice color palette here. Um, I think what I'll do is, I wonder if I can do this all in one step. So I can get rid of the strokes on here. Oh, maybe I have to select all. Let's just get rid of the stroke. That's not going to work. Hmm. No, maybe that won't work. Anyways, I have my palette. These other colors, I don't really need to. I'll just turn them to white. There we go. All right, so there's my palette. And the next thing we're going to do is start tracing. Um, now, rather than have the actual image here, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to go to View. It allows you, Moho allows you to select a tracing image. If you go to View and then select Tracing Image, click the same image. And now it's a little more transparent, but it allows me to do uh, more of my drawing over the top. This is actually a really nice feature. All right, so for this video, we're going to start with just some basic shapes. Since this is a beginner's tutorial, some basic shapes, um, and uh, we'll color those. And then uh, in the next video, video, um, I'll show you how to start doing a little bit more detail. So for this first layer, um, let's just uh, We'll do one layer at a time. For this first layer, let's just do, this is gonna be sort of the base uh, of his face. Um, I'll just call it, I'll just call it face. Um, let's go to shapes. I'm gonna do maybe this circle here. Um, I guess we can pick a color. I suppose we'll go, let's do light. Let's just start on the light color. All right. Draw a circle. Grab each point. You can press G and select. I'll probably put it down here a little bit lower by the ear. Put that to the top. Press C for curvature or click the curvature. Make that a little bit wider. These can come out a little bit more. We might have to add some points. We'll see. Yeah, probably. Maybe not. This allows you to get it pretty accurate. Um, but his jaw comes out here a little bit, so we'll probably add a point here. To be symmetrical, we can do it to the other side as well. Now what we'll probably need to do is change this. Since we have a point further down, let's move this up a little higher. And then we can adjust the curvature. Don't want to make him look fatter than he is. And the less, uh, the less points you use, I like to do that even when you're animating because sometimes it, things can get a little bit too distorted when you have uh, too many points. So there we go. All right, so there's the face. Um, I think I will, we already made the, the color on this. Um, you can't really see it because it's, you know, it's this uh, tracing image thing. But once we take that off of there, um, actually, I'll show you. 
So if we don't show trace and image, there we go. So that's sort of the sort of the face color, the pinkish face color. But once we add more color to it, you'll see um, what it's gonna start looking like. Okay. Um, let's. I'd like to take off the stroke on this. I like that better. Okay, so next maybe we'll do the hair. Um, and I think I'll make a different layer for this. I like to use a lot of different layers just because um, it makes it a little bit easier to navigate your artwork. But sometimes you can put a lot of shapes on the same layer and it's not that big of a deal. But um, for this, I'll just do some different layers. I'm going to choose vector. We'll call this hair. And maybe I'll just go with the add point tool here. Go with the base of the hair. And notice it's just doing So it looks funky, but we can adjust the curvature, as you'll see. Actually, if it needs to be very sharp, you can select that point, and I believe you go to curvature, and you're going to do this angled one. It'll make it a peak, and you can just adjust the rest of this. There we go. That looks great. So maybe bring this down just a hair. And one way to move points well is using shift. It, shift allows you to move it only laterally or only vertically. That's very helpful because then you you don't miss up the other you don't mess up the other um, dimension if you're happy with it. Okay, so there it is. There's our shape. Um, let's do this. Maybe the color. Uh, Let's do this the dark hair color. Did I not select it? Let's see. Oh, did I not make it a shape? That's probably what we need. So go to. So when you're doing, um, you, when you're adding points to make a shape, um, you want to select the create shape button. Select all your points. Create shape. And then you're going to want to press create shape up here. I don't think it makes it. Yeah. So you need to press the create shape. And then you actually have to go up here and press create shape. And there's our hair. Um, and so now uh, when we take the view, take the tracing image off. And that's what we got. Looking pretty good. Um, um, so that's how you do basic shapes. Right, and you and you color them. This is looking pretty good, and then um, we're going to add more to it. Um, but um, that'll be enough for this video. Um, you learned some of these tools up here: how to use the points, how to add color, um, how to make yourself a color grid um, for a, a palette, um, and then uh, we'll start add, adding the details in um, in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.